Hey guys, so the update a lot of us have been waiting for, we have LGV30 and Jade Oreo update. And this is the official final version of it, not a beta or anything like that. So during this video, we're going to be going over some new features and also be doing a couple quick speed test comparisons as well. So go ahead and check out the update center on your phone, see if the release is available yet in your region. Uh, so far it is pretty limited, but it is available for some people. And as you guys see, Android version 8.0.0. Click on that a few times. And it's going to show you guys the Easter egg real quick, first of all. So this time it's an octopus, over octopus. And not much you can do here, but you can drag it around the screen a bit. And sometimes it's also bigger or smaller. So we have a baby one there. And medium size, let's do one more. Yeah, still medium size, but again, guys, cool little Easter egg there. So on the left here, I have the Sony Xperia XZ Premium, a quick video I filmed uh, prior to updating the LGV30 on AG8 Oreo. So this is just a quick boot up test on the left side here. And again, guys, this is when I was on Android 7 Nougat. So let's see if it's faster here on AG8 Oreo. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so actually it may have been a bit late there on the uh, Oreo in terms of booting it up. But let's see how fast this is. Okay, so Nougat a tiny bit faster so far. But it should be Oreo. Uh, yep, as you guys see, Oreo first one to boot up. So pretty clearly, the uh, Android Oreo update is faster than Android 7 Nougat. Uh, at least from the boot up standpoint. So for any of you guys following the news from this week, being a few seconds faster booting up is actually a pretty big deal. Um, Apple was... It's just some articles about how Apple has been slowing down the phones with new updates. So anything to make it faster is definitely a very good sign. And even more so than that, guys, I think the multitasking is a lot more important to boot up. Multitasking is an area the phone has struggled with in the past. So let's see if it's any better here on Android Oreo. And I'm going to just load everything up, and then we're going to do a quick multitasking test after that. Okay, so again guys, let's do a quick multitasking test here. And back to the beginning of NBC. Very, very fast. Uh, the app voting did seem pretty quick. I don't know if it's any faster, but it could be. But so far, multitasking looking pretty good here. eBay. Yeah, excellent job here so far. So I know for a fact some of these apps definitely did refresh earlier. Um, let's see here. Great job there. Gump on two, excellent. Now when we do the more in-depth test, it's probably not gonna be quite as good as this, uh, just because we do have a gap there, and uh, this is a gap in terms of timing, and it does uh, cause some of the apps to refresh a bit. So for example, here I just loaded up all the apps and immediately went to the multitasking. Whereas with that, we waited about five minutes before doing the multitasking. So that could impact things somewhat. But so far guys, obviously extremely, extremely good sign here. Yeah, really excellent job here. Really can't do much better than that. Now if the multitasking is really improved as much as you just saw right there, uh, that is probably the best thing possible for this phone in terms of performance. So according to the official release, this is a 1.4 GB update, and it is supposed to improve speed, battery, and software performance as well. Uh, definitely, from what we saw so far, guys, definitely does improve the speed, the software performance. Uh, the battery, still have to test that out, but very good sign there that it will improve the battery as well. So other improvements include quick settings and notifications. So it's pretty similar, but I think some minor changes there. Also new to Android Oreo is notification dots. And this is something Apple's been doing for a while, but pretty good to have it on Android as well. So you just have dots for notifications or when an app needs to be updated. So according to the release, there's also new features for screen configuration. 
And uh, honestly, guys, I don't remember what the settings were originally, but let's go and check them out real quick. So I would think, let's see here. So obviously, it's a bit hard about having an 87 NuGet version as well. But I would think maybe screen car has been adjusted. Let's go and check that out. So possibly some new settings there, but again, guys, not positive on that. Picture in picture mode, also something new to Android Oreo. Uh, look at some of the apps that are available for that. And so basically, let me show you guys a quick example of this. So let's say I'm watching a video on Chrome, we're gonna make a full screen. Now, if I just go back to the home screen like this, as you guys see, I have a mini picture right here. And I'm gonna just drag it around wherever I want. Press on once to expand it. And if I press the X, it's actually not going to completely close out of it. Uh, let me show you guys that. So as you see, Chrome still down right here. Didn't close out of Chrome, it's closed out of picture in picture. And real quick, so I'm load it back up. Now you can of course do this on regular YouTube, but you have to have YouTube bread for that. Uh, so again guys, let's go back to the home screen. And you can also drag it down to the bottom like this. This is another way to dismiss it. Uh, so you can also use for Google Maps, again, uh, YouTube Red. If you have Duo, you can do that also. So Duo is a new app and it's basically Google's version of FaceTime. Uh, so as you guys can imagine, if you're doing a FaceTime and you wanna have other apps open in the background, pretty useful to have that. So this is more practical use for guys I'm in my settings right now. And you know, obviously it's gonna be any app here in the background. And then I have the picture in picture right here. Now personally guys, I don't really use LDAC support that much, but this does have updated support for Sony's LDAC. Uh, it has smart autofill as well. But as of now, it's been using Android Oreo for a few hours here. Uh, so of course, lots and lots and lots of more testing to do. And do plan on doing a more in-depth video on this, just all the new features. And also of course, we'll be doing speed test comparisons as well. And let me know in the comment section below what speed test you want to see next. Uh, probably will do the Google Pixel 2 XL. I think the Sony Xperia XE Premium, maybe the uh, OnePlus 5T when that gets Android or you as well. So again, guys, let me know in the comments section below what you guys want to see next. So thanks for watching. Press the subscribe button in the middle there for more videos in the future. Or press it in the top left or the top right for another video right now. And as always, thanks for watching.